Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe. I'm going to jump in again. I'm going to go as Apollyon and try doing Champion Apollyon. I've I spent a little bit of time trying to work out how exactly this guy works. And what I've realized is, oh my lord. What I've realized is I'm just really, really really unlucky as this guy. Uh, essentially, just before this recording started, I was trying to figure out exactly how this character works. Basically, we have, as our champion version, we have a smelted spin down and a smelted crooked penny. Um, and I was like, okay, let's try and work out how this works. Um, foul gut. I probably just want to take foul gut, to be honest. Let's just take it. This is in a very good spot for damage early on. Um, but basically, what I've worked out is whenever I use my Void, sometimes I'll get nothing like Crooked Penny. If Crooked Penny go is, has a, a negative result, we just get a penny. If it's positive, what I should get is one item that is voided and a duplicate of that item that is instantly spun down. Now, the problem so far that I've noticed is my luck is really, really really bad for this and I tried I restarted like a bunch of runs just to test it I only got a positive result two out of the ten times that I tried on a 50 50 so it's gonna be a little rough for us I think I'm hoping we get a key, uh, key at some point here but it's not looking like it is it it's not looking like it it's okay we can go to the shop and maybe buy one we get a soul heart though that's nice But yeah, I do want to use my, my spin down void as much as I can, but I'm also scared. I'm also scared. Right, one, two. Nah, oh, bloody hell. I thought it was one more. Oh, and I got him that time. Good, good, good. I messed up the other one, but I didn't mess up this one. It's okay. I like it when he just decides not to fire. He's just chilling. So, for example, on this one, we got nothing. See? See? My look's real bad with this at the moment. Um, I'm going to keep gambling and hoping for the best, but so far, my look has been pretty atrocious. I kind of see what I've got to do here. There you go. There's no key here either. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, right, we're gonna have to find secret room. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where it could be. Let's just check below here. So it can't be there. Um, it can't be there. It technically could be here, and that would save us a lot of trouble. Yes, baby. Oh, hello. It's missing now. I wasn't expecting missing now. I don't even know why I'm doing this, because I really don't want Missing No. We get Terra, that's nice. Okay. Ooh, hello. That was unexpected. Unexpected indeed. Right, second secret room, where art thou? Oh, baby. Okay, this is a good start. This is a good start. Right, let's go and buy the shop item. And what I'm learning is I need to use this somewhat sparingly, because otherwise I'm just going to waste it. Where could second secret room be? It'll be off this big room, won't it? Whoa! That's a big rock. <laughs> that's a big rock. Lovely. And then second secret room should be here. There you go. Just a hug for us. Nothing much. Right. Away we go. Feeling reasonably good. Um, we're going to try and do... Um, beast or Delirium, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued by this idea of this character. It seems, it seems good, but... Um, let's see. Got room straight off the bat. Love that. And blow this guy up as well for potentially a bit of money. Lovely. Yeah, that big rock is going to be quite nice for insta-killing stuff. Ooh, also, I can't remember. Do my blue flies do insane damage when I've got cysts going on? We'll find that out in a second. Let's take a little look in here. Okay, we don't currently have a 
a key for this, so let's not do that right now. Extra damage. I like it. No keys either. I can't remember how cyst works with blue flies. This guy's going down, down, down. I love having Terra early on, especially as a character that's made of stone. <laughs> that's pretty great. Pretty great. Right. Good start. Probably gonna get some spiders here, but I don't mind. We've already got the quarter, so there's not too much reason to pop those open, but you never know what you might get. Okay. So you look, a few pennies here and there. It's kind of worth it. Always want to use the big rock. Got to remember we've got it. Got, got to try and use it for the uh, most annoying enemy. Thank you. Ooh, crawl space as well. Come on, keys, where are you? I'd like some keys, please. So this is a good this is a good use case for um, our space bar, I think. It's an item that I'm not particularly interested in. And unfortunately, once again, it's nothing. See, this is my problem with it. Like, it's it's a real cool idea. But the gambles just are never in my favour. I'm I guarantee on this run I get like one use of it that actually does something. And the rest of them are all excuse me. Hey, here's a key. The rest of them are all just being annoying and useless. Okay. Move back over here. Open this bad boy up. See what we might get. Mongo Baby is fine. We'll take it. It's not as if I wanted the spun down version of that anyways. Obviously spinning down is good as well for the stats. It's it's a weird idea for a character. I really like it. But god damn am I just an unlucky Chucky. Destroy all of them we can. Need another key, realistically, for uh, a shop. I will open up all of these, regardless of the fact that I don't really need to. I have to. It is the only way. Ooh, extra tears. Lovely. Okay, second secret room. No. Sometimes the rock the, the rocks hit directly on and nothing happens. It's annoying when that happens. Could be here. No? Where's second secret room at? Might be up from here. Yeah, there you go. Really just more hugs? It's all it's all hugs with you. You give us some mini Isaacs. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Right. Boss about to get annihilated. Oh, look at that. Hefty bit of damage off the bat there. Divorce papers, of course, we, we do like divorce papers, so we'll just take that. Um, and I think we are going to head on our way. Keep it going. I'm going to stick with the angel deal for now. Sadly, no key. Um, we're not going to be getting extra keys to get into our shop this time around, which is a little bit annoying. We'll see if this floor treats us better. Okay, so we've, we gained the quarter, which means Magic Mush is well within our reach. We're on a, on a run with some luck today. I've traded all my luck of using Crooked Penny with the luck of getting stuff from, from things like that. Ooh, I'll take that. At the minute, we're just getting a lot of items that I want to take. There's no, there's no choice about it. Algis for the room. Nice. Crawl space. We do have a holy mantle, so I'm just going to do this. See, here's another one that's probably worth rolling down. Hey, we got one. We actually got a decent item for it as well. What was this card? Hanged man. Nah, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, we finally got one that was positive. I think we gained some stats out of that. Um, as well as, obviously... Getting ourselves some cool bombs, which I'm pretty happy about. Nice. 
Oh god, that guy exploded quite largely. I wasn't expecting it. Dude, all the things that require keys and no keys to use. Straight up destroyed that machine. Opening Mega Certain Door regard opens Mega Certain Door regards whether you have the key pieces. Improved payout from Alabaster Box regards whether you take a devil deal. That's pretty good. I think I'll take that. Uh, although, actually, no, we want this so we can get into Hush. I'm sorry, but pretty cool, though. There's a, a Hush one and a Mega Certain one now. Just looking for my Mega Mush and I'll be on my way. That is all I want. That is all I need. Oh, God. There's a lot of tears coming our way. I'm really liking the fact that we got Falga off the bat. Having all these blue flies early on is super goddamn useful. It's very, very nice. I'm not taking pills at the moment. I'm not into it. There we go. I still want to know if you can get brain worm from those, uh, those things. You can get a lot of worm trinkets, but I don't know if brain worm's in there. Seems like it'd be a little strong if it was, so maybe it isn't. But I, I have hope. Or maybe it's just a really low chance. But I have hope. Did I do question of the day today? I can't remember. If I didn't, um... What's your favourite kind of soup? And if you don't like soup, why not? <laughs> Easy one. Ow, I was too close. Where did we get the blue spiders from? Oh, is that from the um, the trash bags? Good stuff. Toy drum is is pretty great. But then again, so is the thingy. I, I'll take toy drum just because it's good. But at the minute, I'm I'm kind of a bit in a weird one here because we've not really got the a good opportunity to use our void really. Um, I like the fact that he starts with a, a no trinket smelted. That that's just a lot of fun <laughs> as this character. Makes all the sense. I guess we'll pop this open. Got ourselves a dice shard and an ace of hearts. I guess I'll uh, take the ace of hearts into this large room over here and use it. Why not? And then I'll grab my dice shard back. Thank you. Key into here. Unfortunately, no key available in here. Bit annoying. Ah, you... Just never pays out, man. <laughs> I get so unlucky with this. Just, like, shooting every wall, yeah, just in case. Um, plus one black art. We need keys for this room. Unfortunately, keys are a hot commodity right now. We do not have many available. We don't even have one for our item room at this current time. We've had like two show up the entire run. And then, and then it's like, oh, you have a way to shoot all rocks with your tears? Here's some more bombs. There we go. Thank you, game. Thank you. Damn, we shot that, um, it goes to 145 damage with, uh, Toy Drum. That's pretty funny. There you go. Hagalaz. Lovely. Make things a little easier destroying all of this. Okay, hello, Steven. Steven Floor still needs some tweaks, in my opinion, um, to, to make it more viable. Right now, it's kind of iffy. Like I said, I don't like the fact that it can trade a passive for an active. I think that's a really bad idea. Uh, and then, also, with this character, it wouldn't be a problem. Also, I think it should this, there should be a shop or a item room. Giving up your shop and item room for that floor just is very rarely worth it. I'd like to see that improved a little bit. 
make it a lot more viable. It's still a cool floor to go to every now and again, but I like it to be something I I, I want to go to a little bit more. Good chaos card. Um, I guess I could take my chaos card. Instantly kills any enemy it touches except for Delirium or the Beast. It doesn't kill Delirium, but I could kill Hush instantly with it, which is pretty nice. Right, let's see if we get an Angel deal here. We've got a Dice Shard to work with. Excuse me. We did indeed. We did indeed. Um, I think I'm just okay with taking that. And then here... Prosperity isn't really that good because it doesn't really work. Um, let me bomb you. Let's do that. Yeah, okay, so I got that good. And I did get Sisyphus, which is kind of interesting. Boulders will randomly fall, uh, or I could just dice shard it, which I think I'm going to do. Um, eight percent chance to see us transform into a weaker version of themselves. Yeah, I like that. I I'm pretty happy with my my result there. Also, when when we walk into a room, that tier is gonna be kin massive, <laughs> and I can take my chaos card and try and use that on the hush fight. One hundred and ninety-five damage. Uh, Death's touch tier is gonna be quite the sight to behold, I imagine. It's also nice to now have proper piercing because. That large tier can do quite a bit of damage. Every time I'm stood next to one, it bloody explodes. Um, I guess we just take this, considering. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result of that that room. That went very well for us. Let's keep this train moving along. The rather intriguing run thus far. 195 damage. I'm liking that. Good old toy drum. Right, down we go. Got quite a lot of money to work with. Uh, keys are in a better spot than they were by a, lo a long shot. The sun. Finish off that final wave with the sun. Lovely. And skip out on some rooms we don't have to do now. Yeah, I like that. Okay, got some rebirthing enemies here. Not too big of a problem. Ah, we're going to be destroying skulls left, right, and center here, aren't we? Oh, I like that, though. Aha, I'm liking this um, deform enemies into a weaker version as well. This is really nice. Like, there can't be a secret room. There's a gap there that I didn't even see. No secret room here. There it is. Really, I need to be destroying skulls after the room's over. So I don't have more things to fight. I don't need to be destroying the skulls at all, really. There's not too much I can gain from that, but I like to. Um, nice. For God's sake, every... Can, oh my God, both of them. Are you kidding me? Just stand further away, you moron. Oh, baby. Okay. That's... <laughs> That's pretty good. We won't be re-rolling that. Cool. Right, let's go back to the shop real quick because we've got quite a lot of money to work with here. But that was that was pretty exciting to get that. Now we go up to like 300 damage. Our base damage is 15. Red stew, I think we'll take that. And then the rest of it we'll just yeah. Gamble on it. Didn't work. So now our damage goes up to 640. This this number just keeps scaling up and up and up. 
It's going sky high. If we if we time it right, we can probably one shot the boss. What we need now is spectral. Spectral would make this pretty incredible. Right. Oh what? Okay, no, it did it did quite a lot of damage. Cool. Keep her going. Down we go. Beautiful. I am very much liking this. One second. Okay, sorry, I was just checking to make sure my mic was okay. okay. It was buzzing before when I said it was, wasn't working properly. It was buzzing and I thought it was buzzing again. It isn't. I think I've sorted it. Good, good. Pills, I'm sorry, but I just don't need you right now. Bow. Nothing there. Don't like not having map in here, but it is what it is. Good old little stud. Okay, this is mum fight, right? I'm pretty sure. Necro 2. Yeah. Try and find item room first. Obviously, we're trying to keep our damage going with red stew if we can. I think this is definitely a delirium capable run, so I'm going to go for delirium. I was thinking about beast before, but this run's got chops. If only we could find the goddamn rooms we're looking for. No idea where I'm going. Well, thank you. There's a secret room that we've discovered somewhere. I don't actually know where. Here. Not a secret room I particularly care about. Bombs are pretty useless to us. Shop, however, is pretty nice. Huzzah! You see? This is a useful use of this. We get ourselves the penny roll thing. I could, I could gamble more and, yeah, go like this and then gamble again and, ah, oh, I was really hoping to get the axe. I had to try it. I had to try it. I think I have now voided a active item though. Ah, oh, you sneaky bugger. Hate when they do stuff like that. Right. Anyways, have we found our item room yet or not? I don't think we have, have we? Just keep going and hope we find it. There we go, we found it. Spelunker's hat I'm pretty happy with. Right. Where we go for the boss, which if I can find it, will be somewhere over this way. I don't think I want chili powder, thank you. I think it's all the way to the left and down. Yeah, this seems to be about right. Cool. Oh, that, that almost insta-kill there. There you go, that's the insta-kill. Right, so we want to take the negative for the damage. Ooh, we are over 20 minutes now. Um, it's fine, I don't care about boss rush too much. Stairway, however, I'm very glad I went in here. Hey, does, I've got that mod that makes the uh, cracks not disappear, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, we do have an active item doing some shenanigans there. I tried it, I got nothing. I had to see. Right, stairway. Beautiful stuff. We got good old, old Bell. Um, I guess I'll just take old Bell, why not? We got Contraband, which I wasn't expecting. I'm sorry, Contraband. I don't need you this time around. Lots of good hearts going on right now. Keep moving on. Try and find the boss. I love having Spelunker's hat because it lets you know which ways are dead ends before you go down and which 
on the wound floors is just an absolute blessing. Can pretty much always go the right way. Little top hat. Ah, damn it. I kind of want to keep my money for stairway anyway, so that's fine. Beautiful. Guess I'll take it. At this point, I can check in here, I guess. Ooh, we got Spirit of Bargaining. I will take Spirit of Bargaining because it's pretty cool. Uh, the rest I don't particularly care for. So basically, with Spirit of Bargaining, we can pick this up, we can plop it down, and then he has various deals for us. So, basically the cost is is at the bottom and what we get is at the top. So we could trade that for Void Heart. Obviously, I ain't going to do that. But there's some pretty interesting trades you can get with this guy. It's pretty cool. Sorry, Contraband Man. I don't have anything for you. Pentacles is iffy. It's kind of good. I'm going to do that anyways. I tried it out. So yeah, we get Spirit uh, Bargaining Chip here. Um... Nothing there that particularly interests me. There's going to be times where we don't get really anything of any use, but there's also going to be some deals there that'll be really goddamn good. It also just means technically more things to use our Void on, so that's kind of nice. I don't know how often we get a Spirit of Bargaining Chip. Oh, there's one. Three keys for Photon. Um, yes, please. We've only got three keys, so it's a bit of a gamble, but... I like that. There's a key back as well. Is there any way I can bomb this first? Nah. Can't wait to see what's in it before I go through with it. Oh, we've got a big pole up here. Um, okay, I need to destroy rocks, just not these. I have to actually bomb these. And last but not least, we get placenta. I will take placenta, why not? Any book active will be buffed. Um, I guess. I'll just take both of them. Why not? It might work with Book of Virtues, maybe. Alright, keep going this way. So my tier size is still really big, despite it being a Furton shot. Like, I'm still able to hit most of the room with it, which is kind of interesting. See, this is an interesting idea. We get this. Um... And we could do three hearts for a reroll. So we'll we'll doing this reroll his shop items. Nah, it doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. I could trade Spelunker's hat for four keys, but I'm, I'm really liking having Spelunker's hat right now. Although, do you know what? I think it might be worth it because we'll get we kind of need keys right now for the um for the thingy floor. Sorry, Spelunker's hat. I liked you, but I kind of need the keys right now. Spelunker's hat's been very useful. But we've not got many floors left, so... Beautiful stuff. Um, nah, no, that's really any use to us. I guess I'll take perfection just in case. See what's got going on here, stigmatis, whatever. We'll come in here. Down we go. Okay. 
Lots of bargaining chips to go around. I guess I'll just take this. Now this is one where I could see myself using my void. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Um, I guess I'll take the spindle. Wait, where's my where's my um chaos card? I got my chaos disc. Did I did I lose my chaos card at some point? Maybe I did. I don't know where that's gone. Ah, I'm lucky. Yeah, I don't know where where the hell. I'm sure one of you watched me do it at some point. I don't know where my chaos card went. Bunch of discs going down. Right, let's just fight this guy. Hopefully reasonably quickly. I'm a little annoyed that my Chaos card went walkies. I don't don't remember dropping that, but like I said, it is what it is. Oh, I forgot about this. The um the thingy item. Oh god, that's a lot of blood things. If you push a bomb through him, it like multiplies them like crazy. I don't think it's really worth taking all those bloods to be honest, we've got enough damage. Come on my guy. Don't be like this. I only gave him 10 to 2 bombs. Maybe he fixed it, because before bombs would just like infinitely multiply if you sit him inside him. Well, I missed with that one, so. Anyways, nice, quick, and easy kill. Bargaining chippy. I'm going to have to use all of these just to make sure there wasn't anything like truly amazing in there. Anyways, we shall go forth to the void. Have ourselves a very good time. Job's rags is very good. And honestly, I think it's worth taking this for perfection. And then I might as well play you because I don't need my money anymore. And I got the mulligan. Pretty happy with the mulligan straight off the bat. Um, Nah, I don't think there's any of that I want to get rid of. We should be able to clear the rooms here exceedingly quickly. Shouldn't be a problem at all. I like enemies turning into their lesser forms as well, that helps. Sometimes they'll just all instantly die for some reason. Right, yeah, Spolinker's hat would have been nice here, but it is what it is. There's a boss. Don't really care if we get Delirium first here. We did not. Oh, we are going to get a lot of discs here. I kind of forgot about that. Ooh, Turfu. I don't think I want Chunk of Turfu. Hey, so we'll take that instead. Nice. Turning enemies into crap. Nice success. Cancer Trinket. Eh, I'm, I'm happier with Perfection until I lose it. Because we've got some things that are luck-based in here. We did lose our um, thingy holy mantle there, so perfection is one step closer to being lost. Crawl space? Bad crawl space. Boss time. Don't actually want that, I don't think. Nope. There's going to be some deals that are absolutely trash like that one, but there is going to be some good ones here and there where it's like just asking us to pay a bit of health or a bit of money for some really good items. Oh, 
Um, we didn't get an item that time. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, didn't even give me the item. There's some weird stuff going on right now. I'm confused. I am confused. Oh, really? I have to... I'm just gonna escape. Oh, I can't even escape. God damn it. Get all of those hands away from me. Okay, perfection's gone. I need to go back and get cancer real quick. I don't remember where it was. I think it's just straight across from here, isn't it? There you go. At least we have that as a backup option. Why are a lot of our flies red? What's going on there? I'm not exactly sure. Oh my god. It's weird, our tier size is deceptively large. Like, it doesn't look like it's big, but it is. Yeah. Okay. Just keep firing. Everything will die. And we got another boss. This probably won't be Delirium, though. Didn't think so. Good old mum's wig. Another boss disc. Might as well keep using the discs. They're gonna run out, obviously. But why not? Okay. Hand boy. Damn, I don't even know remotely if I'm going the right way here. Very much not, apparently. It's gotta be over here, then. Gotta be down here. Otherwise, I'm just confused. No extra items from any of these. Oh, God damn, that's all the poop. Do not want the boot. I'm pretty sure the boot is um, real, real bad. I'm pretty sure the boot makes it so that you um, can't heal anymore. I don't like the idea behind that. My tears have become so high. This is this is probably delirium. Yeah. I thought so. Ow. Backstabbers are probably a good one to grab. God damn, the damage we are outputting on base delirium is pretty nutty. In general, it's pretty nutty, but god damn. Yeah, going to see our base form delirium, not a good idea. So there you go, we managed to clean up pretty nice there. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Got ourselves another delirium completion mark done, and a pretty good showcase of this version of the champion Apollyon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.